be able to compete at the level you want to compete at, what do you think you have to do? Well, the first main important thing is to stay always in shape. You just can't playing hockey and training yourself at a high professional level and then over the summer time you just drop it, don't do anything. It's not, it's not a really good thing. So you just have to be working hard and consistent, consistently. Now even you're a bigger athlete, how important is your strength to your game? It's Since you're a defenseman. It's a lot, and especially me, many people think that if I'm a bigger kid, it's things get easier for me, but it's not. I actually need to work twice as harder than the little guys have to, because they get the conditioning and strength to twice as fast as I do. So, but overall, I'm the one that is in a better way of situation, because I can add to my body more than the rest. Mm -hmm. And that plays well on, on the ice for you? Yeah. Of course, there is many aspects that uh, there there are many situations that you can compare to. Like for example, like in front of the press, like there is a pure branch bench press, and there is many examples like that all over the ice. What do you think your um, your best asset is yourself? At 225 pounds, and which is 103 kilograms and six foot two. What are you? Six three? Yeah, six three. Six three. Um, I'm a real phys physical guy, and I can do damage with it. Mm, I guess it's going to be one of the biggest aspects. But what I try to do, uh, I love to be the well-rounded player. I just don't want to be like a strictly player that does only one thing. I just want to be the highest level the top player. So what am I waiting for? Um, what's your favorite part of training? <laughs> Shower time? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the best time of every training when you just hit the shower and relax. Well, I don't know, I'm kind of addicted to this. I cannot live without it. After every single workout, like I feel, I feel kind of happy. Not for a long time, though. <laughs> do, you, do you think to compete at this level, you almost gotta live it, live the lifestyle of? Uh, you know, there is many players that don't do anything, and they're still at the high level. It mm -hmm. pays off in the future, but you still can go around. But I mean, like, what I'm heading to, like, uh, I know my goals. I know at what time I want to finish my career. I want to be a long-term shot. So I just need I need to stay healthy all the time. I need to work on my body for a long time, most likely, so I don't have any injuries. Mm -hmm. So I strong. I keep mentally and physically prepared all the time, no matter what happens. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Appreciate sure. it.